Hey guys, before we get to that PSA cracking video, a couple things. Yes, we made it to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I wanted to let you know a couple things. On Monday next week, we're going to be doing an opening for the 2,000 celebration. And on my community tab, if you go to my page, you'll see that there's a poll. And you will get to decide what I'm opening for 2,000 subscribers. There's some cool things on there. Also, on the Tuesday, that's when the special delivery Pikachu is going to be announced. So again, if you are not entered in that, in the eye above, or one, one of these sides, that's where you can go to that video. Make sure you're entered to win a special delivery Pikachu. And this Friday, I'm doing a pack battle with TCG Funhouse uh, Champions Path. I'm super excited about it. So make sure you are watching and hit the notification bells. Why not? So let's get to that PSA video. What is happening, collectors? We're talking about PSA cases and how to crack them. I had bought this a long time ago. It is a PSA 8 Mount Cornet gold card and it doesn't really fit with the rest of my collection uh, because as a PSA 8 for modern cards, it's not really that valuable um, in the PSA case. It's just as valuable outside of it. And I need one for my binder. And again, it's not a good enough card to be displayed. So I figured this is a good opportunity to crack a case and show you how to do it. So a couple things that you will need, obviously you need a PSA case. Most important thing, you need safety glasses because there could be some plastic flying and you don't wanna get one of those in the eyes. So you need some good scissors and I have some nice uh, sharp ones here that I just bought recently. And then you will need a flathead, ideally a flathead screwdriver. So. Um, there's a few reasons to why you're going to want to crack a PSA case just quickly before we do it. Um, you either want to get it outside uh, to put it in a binder, you may want to go get it regraded without submitting this for a regrade. Um, there's some people that believe that submitting it, if I sent this in as a PSA 8 uh, in the case, it'll come back and they'll say, no, I don't think it's any better. If I send it outside, I may have a better chance of getting it upgraded. Or if I want to send it to another grading company again, and I don't want the old grade to influence what the new grade would be. So um, that is why you may want to crack it. And I also highly recommend if you do decide to crack a case, all of your uh, different grading companies have the information right there. Um, I would, it's best to take that piece and mail it back to PSA as an example. And I will be, I'm going to be sending this back to them because I want them to take this out of the circulation. Um, I don't want it to be, um, I, I don't want this number uh, to be still in the database because again, that's not fair. It, it's too much out there. It should be taken away. It will help increase the value of the cards hypothetically. So anyways, so the best way to go about it here is you're gonna wanna snip a corner, okay? Um, I'm gonna do it this way. You're gonna wanna snip a corner um, and it again, plastic may, fly ooh, or the card may fly so there you go the uh, and I didn't snip quite enough there so let's just uh, oh boy yeah see plastic does fly yeah see I told you don't be don't be don't be watching so <laughs> um, and then you can't so you can uh, snip off multiple corners if you want um, to me I think kind of the less less is more um, you're gonna you're gonna have to get the I should show you on camera here let's see if I can actually tilt this down a bit just so you can see a little bit better um, so you're going to want to get a flathead screwdriver um, I should have probably chosen a smaller flathead screwdriver this is not the best one but I figured this is not one that I wanted to uh, um, to to wreck here so I may fast forward some of this here but So then you get your flathead screwdriver right on the inside there. You just give it a little twist. You give it a little twist, move it along a little further, give it a little twist. And as you see, it kind of popped up on the one side. Um, this side didn't quite as much, so I want to give, again, a little twist. And that should be about it. And you can now mostly safely open it up and take card out. So right here we will now safely remove the card. There's the card and I'm going to take out that again. So there is a cracked PSA case and again there's lots of different reasons that you're going to want to do it um, but 
that is the best way that I've seen other people do it as well, is definitely have some nice sharp uh, scissors and then a flathead screwdriver. Ideally one that's maybe a little thinner than that. I just wanted one that I wasn't gonna break the screwdriver. So that is how you crack a PSA case. Again, safety glasses because there was a lot of plastic flying. So anyways, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, hit a like. We'll see you next time. Have an amazing day.